Right. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to invoke build jobs using um, REST commands or curl commands. So we have a build job here with two parameters, P1 and P2. I gave them default values. And the step here is basically just echoing the values of those parameters. Now, this job, which is called test it, if we want to invoke it from a REST command, if you go to the documentation of Visual Builder Studio under guides, um, at the end of the list, you'll find our REST API for Visual Builder Studio. And over here, we have the REST API for invoking jobs, working with pipeline, and also covering YAML. I'm going to look under the use cases, uh, which has the start build job, okay, and explains how to construct the command. Um, there's two tricky parts that you need to know. Um, the first part is quite easy. It's basically just passing the value here so um, and the user. So you can just take and copy that one. And then the next thing is the URL for your server. Okay. So my instance, my org, if you look up here, the first part of the URL, this is my instance. The second part is my org. Okay. Then there's rest and then there's the my project or my org, my test one, which is the name of the project. And we explain over here how to get it. There's two simple ways to get it. Uh, if you have access to the project administration properties, under here you have the identifier and you have a copy that basically copies this. If you don't, if you're not the administrator and you have a Git repository in your project, if you go to the project and you click the clone here to get and copy this one, and I'll paste what I copied over here. You would see the identification right here, okay, before the SCM part. Okay, so that's your project identification. So with those pieces of information, you can construct this URL over here. And then of course, V1 job, like CI build V1 jobs, and then the name of the job, and then the command build, okay. Um, and then it would ask you for a password. So if you do just that, like that with a, an empty value here, that's if you don't need to pass parameters. If you do need to pass parameters, okay, uh, then you can create a YAML file that has those parameters. So just as an example, over here, if I'll do uh, more to my params, okay, that's a file I created here. It's just a file that has params, and then the name of the parameter and the value. So in our case, it's Joe and hello. Okay, and you can, of course, just VI this. So, uh, okay, and you can edit it. And again, remember, this is um, YAML. So it's uh, very sensitive to aspects um, Okay, like positioning and stuff like that. So, uh, let's um, escape this and save um, save the value. So now we have that value here. Okay, and then we can just use the command. So if I'll pick up the command that I ran here, okay, you have the curl post, a data binary, and the name of the file. Okay, then the username, the URL, and the name of the build is over here. When you invoke it, you will be prompted to provide the password. And it would basically execute your build. And it would give you, in the return, the ID of the build that is running. So if you now switch back over to your environment and into the builds, okay, and you'll go into the job queue, you would see your build job, number four. And if you go over here, you'll be able to see it executing. So let's give it a minute to get the executor and execute. And then you can look at the log file and you'll see the values that you passed in echoed over here. So this is how you start a build file from a curl command.